There's definitely something bad there. I need to get to the same level. Go. Seamoth, let's go. Ooh, you are a big one. Alrighty, guys. Welcome back to Subnautica, where today we are going to be going back down towards the... What is it called? Blood Kelp area? But first off here, I need to get this and... I need to get a wiring kit. Now, that should be pretty simple. I have just enough silver for one more wiring kit. And then once I get this, this should help me make a very important new piece to the Seamoth. Okay? Now this here should help me make the Seamoth perimeter defense system. Now this thing here should just keep baddies away. Alright? Now... We're going to definitely try and get a torpedo thing, but for me to get the torpedo thing, I need to be able to go deeper first. So we're going to pop that out. I basically have everything for this, right? Uh, two, I need a plasteel ingot, enameled glass. Enameled glass might be the only problem here. Uh, I legit just need a stalker dude. That should not be hard. I can actually probably quickly find a stock or two. Because thanks to our such a large search radius. Um, also, I am trying to remember to scan more things as I go around. And I'm also trying to remember to grab specimens. So as you guys may notice here, we have a couple specimens here. These all are ones that I found up there in the safe biome. So, yay. And now, then we got the two here. Now we got the one, the, what peeper is this one? Oculus. It's like a peeper, but they spawn down there in the mushroom biome. And then we have this guy, a spine fish, which spawns down into that new biome that we were at. So, yay. So, our specimens are growing. Um, but in terms of, can they make it? I probably can. I need a computer chip, though. Um, this little mod right here should just make it so that way when I'm connected to everything, I should be able to see, or, well, I wouldn't, when I have something scanned and I have this connected to my helmet, it should, uh, make it so that way I can see what the scanner room sees, so... still working on that sea moth upgrade before we go so we got to get the enamel the uh, glass made and apparently those take stalker teeth so that's in there and then uh, that just oh okay so that just connects to me so that means here I'll throw this one in Scanner room speed. We, we really don't need maximum range. Maximum range is nice, though. But a little bit faster on the scans help. So, like, as I, as I said, you can now see where those are all are. So this helps me get resources so much faster. Let's go. Alrighty. Okay, apparently as soon as I collect one, all of them go away. That's nice. Is that just not, like, an optional thing to toggle? Okay, I didn't think that just getting one makes them all... Oh, I only need one, honestly, for enamel glass. Come on, Doc. What's going on here? It won't Doc. Something going on here? Warning. Base is out of power. power only. Oxygen That's what happened. Offline. I forgot to fuel this. Uh, go and now. There we go. So, power okay. Restored. Apparently, when there's no power, uh, don't just slam the sea moth in, hoping it will eventually go in. <laughs> There we Welcome go. aboard, Captain. Okay. Let's 
Let's make that enameled glass. Um, I might be able to make one of those... What are they? The one... Stun guns. I also need to eat some lantern fruit so that way I don't die. Vital signs. Stabilizing. Okay. Uh, enameled glass. Boom. Okay. Nice. Now, I need... 10 titanium, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1 lithium, alright, if I'm correct, for... Craft one of those, and then I need 2 lithium, okay. Boom. Now, that there should make it that upgrade is possible. I'm going to the wrong station. Um, we also might just go Hail Mary on it. I think I have everything for the Mark III. I'm 100% sure I can make another Mark III. I can make a Mark III. I'm 100% certain on that. One, two. Another ten of these. All right, yeah, three, one, two. Five, six, seven. Okay, and then rubies. One, two, three. Okay, and I can make a Mark III upgrade. I don't know how deep we will be able to go with this. Um, hear me out on this. If I can make it down to the Degasi base, that be. Can I make it down there now? I'm going to the wrong place again. I'm a hundred percent certain that I, I can go. I can probably go down to the new D Denasi base. I mean, I don't need torpedoes. That's a vortex torpedo. Um, what is your new depth? Nine hundred meters. I can. Hold up. Hold up. Hold. Hold up. I am going to head to the new, this Degasi base. It is the deepest we're ever going to be, but it's also in the safest area possible. But before I go, we got to make this. It It's, yeah, we have to. Where is it? Stasis rifle. I need just a computer chip. I don't think I have the stuff for a computer chip. Do I? Do I? I think I do. Come on, come on, come on. Nine hundred meters. I. I didn't know that we could. Get it to go that deep. Pack up here on some fruit to eat. We're gonna... Okay. Builder. I'm probably gonna leave the builder here, actually. Motivational note. Craig McGill. Crash landed in the acid swamps of Boreal 9. Fought off arachnid kidney poachers. And hijacked a tame star wall. If he can do all that, you can survive one more day. What's synthetic fiber made out of? I can make that. Alright, if you're wondering why I'm going for this dive suit now. I mean, our plan has just changed completely today. I was originally going to head back down there into the mushroom biome. But I'm going to head to the Denasi base here. It's just because, well, it continues the story. But I would like to have a... Well, bigger boat, to say. I don't think we're going to be able to get a bigger boat. So, let's just do this. Before I forget, I wanted to do this. There. That should now grow one of those. As you can see here as well, I am growing a blood vine. Which is awesome. That means we can grow the old blood oil. So I can make this, uh... Where is it? Where did I throw it? 
yeah, my benzene. So with the benzene, I can, or with the, what I just planted, the five, the seaweed, I legit, creep vine, I legit just lost my mind there. I'm so sorry. I can make synthetic fiber. And then what else did I need for two diamonds and titanium, right? Okay. Now this will be our new dive suit for when we go down there. Nice. So reinforced gloves and boom. So that's our radiation suit there. Radiation suit, we'll throw you in here. Okay, um, builder, you can go in here for now. Uranium, I don't know where to put you. You can go in there as well. Synthetic fiber, I don't need you. Laser cutter, I don't need you. I think we're somewhat ready to go. I want to get filled up on water before we leave, and basically the way I've been doing that is this. We just munch down on many, as many of these as we can. Okay. Here we go. Before we go, though. Before we go. It's time. This is legit like last second. I didn't even think about this. We... We're going to be making the sea moth the colors I want. Uh, oh, I can name it. Okay. So we're going to go with a dark interior again. And then the stripe. Uh, where is that stripe? We're going to go blue with the stripe. And then the name. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just leave it like that. The unnamed sea moth. So... I think, let's just do this. That is where we're going. And basically looking out there, there's two leviathans out there, but they're ghost leviathans. Okay? Which means I'm not scared of them. I've seen these ones, uh, they're like more prominent leviathans that you have to deal with, but they're not as dangerous as the reapers. The reapers are like the... You're not supposed to be there, Leviathans. They're the ones that, like, deal with you when you're in an area. Re you're really not supposed to be, so when you're, like, getting too close to leaving the map. But over here, yes, you get close to leaving the map, but they decided to add... Oh! What did I do? Oh, I hit E. I'm a fucking idiot. Oh, my God. I don't know what I just did. Scary, 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 scary. Where, where'd that beacon go? Oh. Oh! You're... One of those guys. <gasps> what the hell? You just pulled me out of my Seamoth. What are you? A warper? Okay. We're going to be careful here. This one is definitely a dangerous. But it's not as dangerous. Warper. Indigenous life form. <laughs> ah! God. Oh, he's damaging the Seamoth badly. Two. Activate. Oh. Seamoth is badly damaged. We gotta stop and repair. There's warper. There's another warper. Okay, I guess this is where those guys live. There's a couple of them. I need to be careful here. Those guys are definitely not friendly. Um. There's a hole. I'm trying to find. 
my marker. Oh, shit. Wait. Are you telling me... There's a cave system down here? Okay, okay, um, you look scary. I don't know what you are, though. This here is what we came down here for, though. Okay, I know I'm kind of, like, glancing over the fact, like, hey, this is a new biome, but... Detected it's... a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. New blueprint. Acquired. It just said unknown mass detected can't originate if it's from the Aurora. Oh! What the New hell? Acquired. There's definitely something bad there. I need to get to the same level. Go. Seamoth, let's go. Ooh, you are a big one! Okay. Seamoth, I need to put you in a position of safety! Oh. We're not gonna get safety with that thing around. That is definitely an EMP blast of some kind. I feel like this thing has like some bioelectric abilities and he wants our booty. Okay. You look like an arrow gel thing. Yep, gel sack. Perfect. I can get gel sacks while I'm here. That means I can craft arrow gel. That means we can make torpedoes. Or torpedo launchers and torpedoes, mind you. Um, okay, scary boy is out over there. We're gonna go in this way. Check our corners. Um, come on, let me. Douche. What are you? Another one. Swim charge things. Data pad. Integrating espresso machine. Integrating new PDA data. All right, yeah, no, we're definitely getting us one of these. I'm at he. Mm. Crab squid. I'm gonna try and scan this guy while I'm in. Okay. I don't think though we're gonna be able to do it full. Single bed, let's scan that. There's duffel bags here, but let's grab them and go. Pick up carry all. I can see him like disabling the Seamoth's power. Because this isn't lit up. Isn't lit up. See? Let's head out this way. Oh! Damn, you hurt! Oh. Okay. Okay. We'll finish scooping up stuff in here. Looks like the. Integrating new PDA data. Looks like the CMOS should be fine. Um, it's a little tight inside these buildings trying to swim. But, gotta get down here. This is a lab of some kind. Creature egg, I'll take you. Um, I'll be analyzer. I'll take your equipment. 
Orange tablet. Data pad. Integrating new PDA data. Class. Yeah, I think we got a good chunk of everything that we came in. Oh no, oh no, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Seamoth. Screw you! Leave me alone! How do I get out of here? We came in through a hole in the ceiling. That hole in the ceiling, presumably. So. Sorry about that. Oh, I almost forgot. We. Ooh, no. Those are warpers everywhere. Let's just head back down in here. We're safe, like, in this sea moth. We now know where the exit is. Um, we're gonna stay close to it, but we're gonna head down more, as deep down as we can. We're gonna grab as many of these gel sacks as we can. It's kind of like last episode, just like with the magnetite. I'm gonna get a couple of these so I can make a lot of arrow gel, and so I can make some torpedo launchers. I don't know if I need a lot of these, though, for arrow gel. I should probably be scanning stuff like the gel sacks, so that way I can get info on them. Like, my inventory's full. And what are these? Acro... Acro... Antro... Antropods or whatever? There's some kind of plant. But, yeah. Inventory's full. Let's just go. I forgot. I basically filled my inventory with a bunch of those junk items. Which... Eh... It happens. So that's life pod 13. This is the way home. Okay. So, honestly, coming out this way was not that scary. I thought there'd be reapers and stuff. There wasn't. I guess just, like, the thing that was keeping me from going this deep is those upgrades. But now we got them. And, well, we went quite deep. Guys, like, really deep. Okay, we got back home, no issue. Legit didn't see anything of danger besides Welcome that crab squid, which I'm not even sure we finished scanning, did we? Did I learn anything on the crab squid? Let's go look at the blueprints equipment-wise. A light stick, reinforced dive suit, habitats, um, modification moon pool, plant pots. Really, you have to scroll to the bottom. Spotlight now. Power. Thermal plant. Vehicle. Cyclops. I don't know how to build that yet. Uh, what are we looking for? Indigenous life forms is what I'm believing I need to look for. Data. Codes and clues. High security. Altera HQ. Captain's quarters. High security 2679. Life pod 4 transmission. Life pod 4 looks like it's up side down near the aurora life pod six i've been to life pod six already uh denasi survivors stalker t something incredible just happened since we're down here i had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering so wait, but did I... I didn't have enough enameled glass so Do I, have I started salt? looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill only, well, we needed more. I don't That's when Margarita was interested. Three. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. I think that be over And I worked the up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. Wait, I have a radio transmission. Like, this just came in, too. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. What? We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. 
Oh my! Life Pod 2 is out in a blood kelp zone. But it's in the big one. Alright. So we have the little one near us. This is like way out the other side of the map. Uh, this is in the blood kelp. They're deep. Oh. Oh no. Uh, which one of these do I have pinned right now? Uh, that one. Unpinned. Thank you. Charge fins. Uh, I don't know which one of those we should do. We should probably get the powered ones anyways. But I think for this episode, we might have to end it here. I mean, I don't know if I can craft the arrow gel. I thought I just need these gel sacks. I might be completely wrong. Um. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need rubies. But, oh my god, I found another cuttlefish. Those should be two... <laughs> Those are two cuttlefish! No. No, you guys don't understand. Cuttlefish are the rarest creatures in this game. I have found two of them. Alright? Two. Also, these are like storage containers that are apparently empty. Huh. Okay. And then over here, I'm gonna make a... Make this look more like a research area. But until then... I'm just gonna like throw all this stuff down. I don't want to build tables just yet. But I'm gathering the equipment to make a lab. Eventually. Eventually we will have our own lab. Just stocking up on that stuff. I need to eat some fruit so I don't starve or drown or whatever it is that happens to me. If I don't drink enough water, dehydrate. Dehydronate to death. Okay, uh, rubies, before I forget. We might be able to make some torpedo launchers today. Now, I'm 100% certain that these do not grow. Because, look, these haven't spread. These haven't spread. This is making me blood oil. Nice. Um, definitely going to need more of that stuff. 100% gimme. Just gimme all. Boom. Just gimme all. Just make it all blood oil. Eventually this creep vine as well should start uh, making me some stuff as well. I should probably just dedicate an entire one to creep vine and an entire one to blood vine. You know? Just so that way it's producing enough evenly. Like this one, I've dedicated an entire one to just the lantern fruit, which is awesome. Um, now, let's just get this done. Can I make these? Three titanium. I need six titanium and two lithium. Come on. Let's weaponize. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We might we might have this in the bag. Uh, only thing that gas pod torpedoes. Vortex ones are I think the ones that we're gonna need to deal with uh to deal with reapers, but maybe the gas pod ones will work. Oh yeah. Where's the torpedo launch? Okay, there they are. Okay, we got to dot drop. Drop them down. Systems online. Torpedo bay. Looks like I could probably load six torpedoes up in each of you. Hold up, let's see. I got magnetite right. Or, no, I shouldn't have any. I gathered all I needed. Okay. Um. Let's get you going again then. I'll grab some magnetite here while I'm... Here's what we'll do. Alright. Because... I realized I just went and did a Denasi base. Really kind of brushed over the area we are in. And I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's just... 
yeah, that's what we have. Um, life pod 13, you can go away. Life pod 12, you can stay up. Life pod 2, you can stay up. You can go away. But, yeah, um, life pod 2, you're definitely going to have to be a next episode kind of thing. But, yeah, just the fact that we went over the whole thing there. And then we went to that whole area and really didn't acknowledge it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do here now, though, is go to the Blood Kelp Zone. This one over here. It, it, this one I do realize is closer to a lot of Reapers than that other one. But it's the only Blood Kelp Zone I got that's nearby. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go get some certain things, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to just go kind of scan. <laughs> Thank you.